Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Humble Thrift Crafter. I am so excited because I have decided to kind of revive my Etsy shop and see how it goes. I went between yesterday and today, I went to um, a rummage sale, a garage sale, and a thrift store, and I have a lot of lace tablecloths that were um, just laying there on the table, brand new, and I decided to maybe sell them or cut them apart for junk Um and I have a new favorite sweet spot, um, but look at this tablecloth, like this is amazing. So I'm just kind of giving you a preview of what I found, and I did find some placemats. So these are large, but there are plenty in here. So, um, but look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I do plan on, and I also have some cookbooks here. Um, I found a brand new, you know, this one would make a gorgeous junk journal. Um, so, and I picked it up for this. They were four for a quarter, they were four for a dollar. So, um, now keep in mind that I would, if I do put stuff in my Etsy shop, um, it's because I kind of need to make my money back and pay for my gas and my time. So, um, but it's just something I would really like to do. I just don't know. So, uh, here's a little preview of this one. This one was brand new in the package. Well, this is love from my kitchen, but look, this has everything that you can think of lined pages and illustrations. I couldn't believe it. It was like a time capsule at this rummage sale. And they had other tablecloths and things like that, but I, I think I did my damage. So, but those placemats, that's just a little pre. Um, and this place that is gonna be, this is my new all favorite place to find junk journaling stuff. They had boxes and boxes of Needlecraft stuff, McCall's, you name it, they had it. And I found this piece of cloth in there. This is all ties sewn together. And it's a large scrap, so I'm like, that would be fantastic for a junk journal cover. Um, but I'm thinking of putting this in my Etsy shop, but the person who had this had other bags of ties, and I wasn't interested in that. Um, I just took this piece because I thought that was quite a skill to just put. It kind of looks like a crazy quilt, so there's that one. Um, there's this um, beautiful uh, ooh, uh, uh, pansy. Thing. I might put that in my Etsy shop. This is all going to be junk journal supplies. Um, and then this is something I got from, this was at a different garage sale, but this is from the same garage sale that got this one. Um, I also got these playing cards that are just amazing. Now this is a surprise because I thought this is, would be cool, like with the look and everything, but when I open it up, it's different, which is fine, you know. Um, I'll have to hold on. It's fine because I'm just, uh, these are quite gorgeous. And in fact, I think I like it just as much as what would have been here, but that is pretty cool. Um, so, um, you know, and then, um, hold on. I ended up with two whole boxes of Rick Rack and plain gross grain ribbons. Um, and then, um, lots of lace, you guys, besides, I mean, look, um, this is beautiful. So, um, like I said, this is all embroidered. It's just little snippets, but I grabbed those and, um, yeah, I think you'll see more of these in the boxes, but I think I got probably three boxes and, um, let's see down here. Yes, I do have magazines as well. So stitch and sew. Um, but this isn't even all of it, guys. 